And then here's the new sleeve, and there's the new piston. So Hello folks, welcome to NetCruiser Cars. See this back here? That's my air-cooled van engine. So yeah, around mid-summer 2020, my Volkswagen Vanagon uh, is a 1982 air-cooled 2-liter boxer engine and the motor just finally wore out. It overheated, it wore out, left me stranded on the side of the road. Uh, and a great race weekend turned into a van dead on the side of the road, needs a tow, crap. took it to a mechanic and we decided we were going to do an engine out restoration. So here's my block and I'm just going to show you some of the damaged parts as well as what I've had to buy to try and rebuild it. So as you can see here my engine is still split in two on my bench so it hasn't gotten very far. It's been at the machinist for a very long time but it's all now done, been machined, we found out what's wrong, any parts that we're reusing have been resurfaced. I just need to show you it all now and then I'm going to take it over to the mechanic to start the building process. So this is my block. Now this is all reusable. Um, it's pretty much not much to show here other than it's all been cleaned. So it went into the jet wash machine at the machinists and he says everything's within spec. He checked all of the tolerances of, of all the bearings in the main area and it's all within spec. This is okay. This is my main engine block. The thing that I ended up cooking and destroying the most was the pistons. Here's some of my old pistons. This one looks all right, but everything's kind of oil caked and disgusting. So these are the uh, piston sleeves and here's the main pistons. These are all garbage parts now. These are not reusable. And the piston pin, which all this is going to be replaced. That one also looks to be in my opinion, okay. If you're an engine person, you probably might think that it's horrible, but uh, I'm not sure what those scratches are about. Here's the one that got cooked the most. As you can see here, the edge of the piston is melted. It actually has melted right off. So this is a definite, has to be fully replaced. Four new pistons, four new sleeves. That's all been ordered and I'm gonna show you what I got for that. Here is by far my worst piston. It's all scored up and the top of it is melted. That means it got really, really hot. When they saw this, it was going to be a simple job of, okay, just replace the sleeve, replace the piston, do some other servicing work of the engine. It shouldn't be too bad. And I was contemplating of going, you know, oversized. Because you, uh, you can bore out the block and get oversized sleeves and oversized pistons and stuff. All that stuff is available for this engine. I decided not to do that because this is a big, heavy Volkswagen bus. I did all the research on it. And it was recommended that for a big heavy bus, you really just want to keep the same size pistons. So I went with these double A pistons. Heavy box, but here are my brand new pistons. And everything's already in there. You get a new wrist pin with it. And then here's the new sleeve and there's the new piston. So I kept them the same two liter displacement with a dished face and these will be my new pistons. They look to be a pretty good build. I found out after ordering these that they're from China, but reports of Volkswagen enthusiasts who have used these say they're all right. So, so I've got four new sleeves, four new pistons, and that was gonna be the biggest expense until we found some other damage, which I'll talk to you about now. Now the machinist checked over my crank. This is my crankshaft. I'm not gonna take it out of the bag because it's all been polished and sealed up nice. And then here's just some gears that also are part of this. I am putting in a new camshaft, so I don't have the, the old camshaft to show you, but one of the other machine work things that needed to be done, this is one of the new wrist pins. And uh, I had to order in new wrist pin bushings which go in the rods here. So this is a new piece that got put in this connecting rod and it has to be fitted to this pin. So these should fit in nicely now. And they do, that feels pretty good. So those have all been machined properly. So that's ready to go. I'm just gonna quickly go through the list of parts that the mechanic told me that I should get. So complete overhaul gasket set, four pistons, four sleeves, a main bearing set, a connecting rod bearing set, a new camshaft and gear, all new connecting rod bushings, a new oil cooler, four new fuel injectors, 
a new oil pump, a new heat shield kit, three new engine mounts, an oil filter, a muffler, uh, camshaft bushings, four, and then I also added, based on talking to the machinist, four exhaust valves, four exhaust valves guides, four intake valves, four intake valve guides. So when he looked at my heads, he said, okay, the valves have dropped a seat, the guides are all worn out, the, the, the basically I needed new valves and all new guides. So I did order all that, as well as four new hydraulic lifters and a new uh, ignition compufier upgrade kit. So I did all that. I ordered all those parts. And all those parts are in these boxes here. Here's my new compufier upgrade kit. This gets rid of the original distributor and points and uh, it gives you electronic style ignition. So that's good. Down in here, is, well, there's a couple of main things in here, such as here's my new camshaft. And I was very surprised by how small this is. So that was another decision point I had to make was what do I want to do for a camshaft? This is stock profile. So I went with fully two liter bus stock profile gearing and lobes. So that's a brand new camshaft ready to go. This is the new oil cooler. This VW box is uh, all the new hydraulic lifters. That's what a hydraulic lifter looks like. And then there's the main bearing set. By the main bearing set, I went with Silverline engine bearings. This one is a thrust bearing. This one is the main crank pulley seal because you don't get that with the full engine seal set. AAA performance parts. Uh, oh, this is the new oil pump. I ordered all this stuff myself. I had to look up the parts, figure out where to get them from, do the best price to performance ratios. This is the rod bearing set for the T2 2000cc. And what was this one? Oh, and this is an oil cooler seal. This one is a lot of my rock auto parts. So this one is things like the engine mounts. So I got three different kinds of engine mounts. Here is the main seal set for the whole engine. So this is every seal you could ever need for the whole engine, except for the crank pulley seal, which I've ordered separately. This is by L-Ring. And then since I was on some VW specific sites, I just got some things like new intake boots, some new hose pieces for, for things like the vacuum lines. It's got some new hose pieces for that. Additional oil cooler seals, because I wasn't sure how many you needed, so it was cheap. I just got some new oil cooler seals. Piece down on the bottom, that is a muffler heat shield, because I was told to get a new heat shield kit. That's the only heat shield kit that I could find, and it was just to protect the exhaust heat from the engine, but that's not actually the heat shield, shield kit that the mechanic wanted. He wanted the full engine tins, which I cannot find. And then I got a new oil filter. I think that's most of the stuff here. And as I mentioned, the machinist told me that I did need to buy all new valves and valve guides because they were out of spec. But this is where it gets a little annoying because uh, he didn't fully inspect the heads before that recommendation. So I bought all those parts uh, and then we found out that the heads are cracked because he got cleaned afterwards. He started doing the cleaning where he was going to seat the new valves. He noticed that this was cracked right through. So, and it's cracked all the way through where, yeah, you can't repair that. It's always the exhaust valve side. So it's the same way on both heads, actually. This one, this one still has the valves in it, but this head is also cracked up really bad. Also notice here, Volkswagen stock uses sodium valves. These heads are junk. So there's no point in putting new valves and junk heads. Here's the real painful part that I thought I could reuse these heads. I had to buy all new heads. So I've had to buy two new heads. Luckily I was able to find them on, well, they were on sale, but they're still expensive in my opinion. So that was an extra $1,200 to replace these heads. All right. Okay, so here's my new heads. Got these from SIP1. Yeah, I got these from SIP1. They were on a moving sale. So I got around $100 off on each of them, but they're still expensive, right? This is still $1,200 in engine parts. Do not use head gaskets on your air-cooled, so they say. Improved combustion chamber, which incorporates sealing surface. Do not use head gaskets. Put that in there for the mechanic so he knows. Uh, we were able to pull off a couple of studs that I needed off of the old 
heads. Oh, well, that was nice. I did get the machinist to do that for me. As well as with these new heads, I did get, you get most of the exhaust style studs, some studs, but you didn't get all the studs. So I still had to pull off those ones. But here's the new AMC casting head. Oh, I better not drop this. Big money here. Yeah, this is a new AMC Castings head. It is a uh, better built than the stock unit. Uh, so it's more robust, should be stronger, as well as the valve seating work is really well done. So oh, okay. Now it's hard to see through the bag, but I'm not gonna take it out of the bag. The valve guides are stamped in place, kind of crimped in place. So they should be stronger and hold up to heat a little bit better. These are the new heads. I showed these heads to the machinist. He was quite happy with them. He thinks they're good quality. So, I mean, that's all we can really do is uh, go from there. Just keep throwing money at it. So yeah, it's getting kind of pricey. Finding out that I had to replace the heads was not a good day because I've been waiting for months already. And uh, then we found out later that the heads are no good. So I've lost a lot of time. The uh, valve guides and the valves that I ordered, I was able to contact the supplier and I was able to return those and get a refund for those. So that was $200 that I got back, uh, but then I still had to pay $1,200 for new heads. The thing that's terrible is the loss of time because now there's snow and salt everywhere. So the fall's gone, winter's starting, and uh, the engine is still here, cracked apart on my bench. So this is the plan, uh, get all the parts to the mechanic today and get the rebuild started. So that's where we're at. Put a comment down in below what you think I've spent on parts so far, although it will be hard for you to guess because I'm in Canada. I will tell you in three, two, one. So $3,700 Canadian on just parts that I've ordered so far. If it was a whole new block, it would be 5,000 to $8,000 and like 12 weeks lead time. So I'm reusing my block, rebuilding all of the top end or replacing most of it actually. So that's where we're at. I gotta get this going, get these parts of the mechanic. Alrighty, well, made it to the mechanic. Just dropped off with all the engine parts in the van again. So this is the block. These are just the old parts in case you need something. All the new parts. And here's all the rest of my engine is up in there. All the exhaust, everything. But that's where we're at. So now it'll be, uh, he just needs to do an SS of the inventory and then get started on reassembly. I have started a new cars channel. I'm not sure what channel this video is gonna go on yet. Probably gonna go on the main channel just to show you that I had to purchase all this and then follow-ups might go on the cars channel. I'm still not sure what I'm doing with that with cars versus the main channel because most of the people who send me things or want content shown want it on the main channel because that's where all my subs and views are. And, but I'm also trying to get dedicated car people over to the car channel. Now the machinist is a friend, so I'm not too upset with what happened. It's just a lot of time we waited and figure out how much is this gonna cost me for labor? Cause I have not paid anyone anything for labor yet. And they haven't really given me a quote for labor yet either. So uh, yeah, that's a scary one. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, time will tell. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button if you're new around here, subscribe. If you wanna to talk to me, leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching.